Monica and Jacob, I want to bring out Han Yeti and Stephen Young. And I'd like to bring out Noel K. Cho. Playing our harmony and David. We got Junior. Before I open up to the audience for questions, I think we're going to have to start out with uh, Noel and Alan. I'd like to hear from you two, just uh, now that the film's played a couple times and you've been able to see audience react to the film, what's this experience been like for you two? It was cool. Oh. <laughs> uh, what was the question? <laughs> How, how's it been for you coming out here to show the film to audiences? <laughs> it was a great experience. <laughs> and, and Isaac, you mentioned at the beginning how this is a really personal story. Now that everyone's seen the film, can you kind of uh, go in a little bit more detail about um, your connection to the story? Yeah, I, I guess in a lot of ways this is probably my, my most autobiographical film that I've done. Um, it is kind of so surreal because, you know, a year ago I, I was even contemplating, like, am I going to have a chance to make another film? And um, one of the things that I, I was thinking of doing around that time, I thought, I just want to throw it all out there and, and kind of go for the film that I've, I've always wanted to make, rather than thinking about one day telling the story of what it was like to, to be a kid. Um, and yeah, I was reading different books and, and all these things, and, and the exercise I went through was to just start writing down memories from growing up in Arkansas. Um, and I noticed that all the memories that I'm jotting down, it's, it's all centered around a specific time, which is around the time that, of my daughter's age, like my daughter's six years old right now. Um, and I, I realized I'm really seeing the world a lot through her. and. Um, and also trying to make sense of my own world. Um, so anyway, I just focused on that, that kind of year. And I was noticing, wow, we ran from a tornado. My grandma burned down half our farm. There's a lot of stuff that happened, you know. So I, um, and I'd always tell these stories to people when I'm living on the East Coast or West Coast. And they're, they're always intrigued, but I always thought, it's boring. This is just, you know, stuff that I lived through. Uh, but, but looking at it, I, I saw that, okay, there is an arc here, there's a narrative arc and stuff, and, and I just, it, it just flowed out of me as well. It was like something I was just burning to tell, so I put my whole heart into it. Awesome. Let's open up the audience for questions. Do we have any questions? Okay, and I'm going to call on you. Do you have some? Okay, let's go to you. Questions about inspirations, novels, films, whatever. Um, a whole host of things, but I think the, the main book that got me, that really challenged me to do this was uh, Willa Cather's book, uh, My Antonia. That, um, you know, she, she kind of wrote a book about being on the farm in Nebraska, and um, she, there was a quote that she said about how her life had changed, her creative work had changed once she stopped admiring and she started remembering. Um, and I, I kind of re really related to that in the types of films that I was making up until now. Um, and I wanted to do what she did in which she invested so much in her own memory. So um, I really drew from that one. And then there's a whole host of other stuff that I was reading through, that I've been reading through and sitting on for the past you know, decade that it would just uh, come up and up and up, you know, great poet, 
poets you might never have heard of, like um, Claude Wilkinson, a, a, a Southern African American poet. Um, some of his stuff kind of makes its way into this uh, this film, like the snake scene. That's something that I kind of draw from from his poetry. Um, so yeah, just there's so much stuff you piece together uh, when you're making something like this. Over there, yes. Yep. The yeah, question about casting and chemistry readings. Right, uh, so about the casting, I just knew that um, you really needed to feel almost instantly that this is a family. Um, first of all, Stephen was the first to come on board with this project, and we'd kind of known each other, and we, we shared an agent, and um, Stephen really took it on. I, I wasn't sure if he would do it, and I was so, so blessed that he said yes. And uh, once Steven was on board, I mean, that really propelled our, our uh, production. And, um, we were able to start looking for other roles. Uh, a, a producer friend of mine, Ina Lee, based in Korea, uh, basically suggested to me, um, there's Yoon Yo Jung and Han Ye Ri. Um, and I, I was teaching in Korea at the time, and, and we, we met together, of course. They're both very respected actors in Korea. And Yoon Yo Jung, uh, she's, she's like legendary, you know. I, I was... Legendary means I'm old. Yes. <laughs> And then uh, we, we had a casting agent, Julia Kim, who uh, once we got to the U.S. in May of 2019, we were scrambling and, and looking for, for these two. And it's just a miracle we found them. Uh, Julia Kim just cast a wide net across the country. And um, these two, I, when I, I'd see their tapes, I just keep wanting to watch them. So that was the big thing. And I knew that if, if I want to watch them, my wife, Valerie, she was like, I, want, I just want to, hey, turn on that Alan Kim kid, like she would say. <laughs> and we would just laugh and laugh. <laughs> so we were, you know, I, I knew that that would happen with audiences as well. And once we put the pictures together, uh, I had that in front of my laptop screen all the time. It was like my family photo. And I just knew this is my family, you know. Um, and it was just beautiful how it came together. What about for anyone from the cast, do you want to talk about, um, did you guys have to spend time together to kind of form the kind of chemistry and bond of a family? Um, I think, that, yeah, I think um, something that we all collectively talk about always when we're reminiscing of our time um, making this thing is just how kismet and um, beautiful the experience was, how, um, you know, just in the same way that Isaac talks about this script pouring out of him, um, you know, when you read that script, it's so honest and truthful and deep and beautiful that um, you can't help but just form together through it. And I think it brought all the right people together. And um, I remember our dinners that we would have almost every day. Um, I remember the first day that we sat down and poured over the script um, with the help of Stephanie Hong, who was so invaluable to the process. Steph, um, just sitting down and pouring over and getting to know each other, um, it, it, it really was a communal bond and we really felt uh, such a deep connection, at least I did, I hope you guys did. Um, but uh, I also want to say, like, for me, like, the, between Yeti and I, it was so magic. Um, she's so incredible. And, um, uh, yeah. um, it was not hard it's at all. Amazing. Yeah. It, it wasn't hard at all to be a family because I feel like we really just spent a month being a family, and that was really, uh, really wonderful. Well, 모여서 카슨 에비뉴에서 밥을 같이 먹었어요. 네, 그래서 진짜 가족이 됐습니다. 
In Korea, we have a saying that if you sit down to eat together, you're just like a family. So just sitting down together, doing filming and eating together and spending time that way just made it feel like a family for me. They're so serious, I'm not that serious. <laughs> I'm in this business such a, such a long time in Korea, <laughs> but we, I didn't want to do it because I knew this is going to be independent movie. That means I'm going to be suffer with all the things. <laughs> but, <laughs> but it came out, well, we, we, we lived together almost so trying to save the money, and so we ate together, so we became a family. And I credit his. Korean and he correct my English, but I, I could speak better than Sunja now, but I didn't have to speak English at all. So, well, that was very, very memorable to me as an old, as an old actress. I don't want to do the real hard work anymore. I'm getting old. But I just gave me the opportunity, so I'm grateful. And I'm very glad to see you guys and enjoy our movie together. Thank you so much. Thank you. We have time for a few more questions. Um, yes, right here. And then I'll come to you. Yep. Uh, thank you so much. Although you described this So the question, question, yeah, about experience more so than just the immigrant story, what else in his uh, kind of historic his uh, history? To me, uh, on, on set, one of the my most favorite memories is that we kind of have this Tulsa crew where everyone's coming from the Ozarks, and then we have a lot of crew members who are Korean Americans and or Koreans. And um, I would enjoy going to both sides. Uh, with Koreans, we're talking about, hey, look at this rice cooker. I used to have this rice cooker that Yomo, our production designer, had done. And then I'd go to the Oklahoma side and i say, hey, did I get the barrel fire right? You know, like, I think this is the way. You know, I, I was connecting to people on that level as well. Um, and so that farming element, that, that element of going up in the Ozarks, that's really important for me. Um, and something that I wanted to show in the film and to kind of break down those categories a bit of what we assume, what, what Ozark life is like, who are the people who inhabit that life, or what, what does Korea and American immigrant life look like, um, and instead break down those categories and try to just find something more human and, and universal. That was the hope. Great. Thank you. One more question in the center. Yep. The, the question was about, did you hear it, Isaac? The question was about parents who are still alive and if they've seen the movie and their thoughts. Yeah, they, they're still alive. Uh, we, we had a wonderful premiere a, a couple nights ago in which my parents and our wonderful producer, Christina O, oh, her parents came, Stephen's parents came, Stephen's in-laws came, and we all watched it together, we were hugging, and uh, I don't know, there's something great about after the film ended, we were all kind of looking at each other like we see each other. I think that's the way you put it, Stephen. Uh, if, uh, um, I just that I want that moment was so amazing to have your parents there and watching this thing. Um, I feel like our generation to take on an understanding of that generation um, was humbling and um, exhausting, um, but also incredibly um, enlightening. And so, uh, uh, yeah. We saw each other. Seven, let me tell you about PTA meeting. Uh, their parents are actually my age, and we had a meeting and dinner together, and they were talking about all their kids, how they grew up. So I was a teacher, and they were the parents. So I had a PTA meeting. With them. <laughs> 
our parents accosted uh, Yoon Ye Jung, um, and she took like a million photos with them. So thank you. Let, let's give a final round of applause.